Hi, Dishies. I'm back again. I told you I had some things in the works for you. I want to show you some estate sale finds that I'm really excited about. Um, when Alicia was still here, we went to a couple estate sales and at the first one, uh, I bought this. This is a five by seven. The actual painting is five by seven. It's, I believe, oil. Um, it could be acrylic. Oh, I don't know. Um, it's from the 1960s based on the date on the frame and it's signed by the artist who was Jan Kelly and it's a pretty rendition of some fall flowers and foliage and I really liked it and you will not believe what I paid for it. 25 cents. Yep. They were charging 25 cents for things at this estate. This was all I left with, but what a find for 25 cents. And I like it hanging up here in the parlor with some other artwork that I have. Next, we went to another garage sale where I found a prized item that I paid $25 for and I bought a couple other items. I think I gave one thing to Alicia, which was a little tin with some um, some vintage safety pins in it. And I don't, I'm, I'm thinking I'm not remembering every other little thing I got there other than the $25 item, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. But everything, I paid $30 for everything I got there, so the rest of the items were about a dollar a piece. And one of those was this little, uh, um, bell garland it's vintage it's plastic and I have it hanging on my mantle now with my socks and my cardinal lights remember I showed you those I don't have it up quite how I like it and I'm not sure that it's going to stay there I'm not sure the cardinal lights are going to stay there either I might actually put them on my tree which is small this year but this was one of the items I got at the estate sale. I also got this great retro record book. It's a hard cover. It was made by Federal Supply Service. I don't know what, um, I don't know what that number is on the bottom, but I love the green and the black. It gives it a very vintage look. And this was an unused book. I love these old office books, um, but this one was particularly nice. And my friend over at Tarnish Treasures, you know, you know her, she is doing a collage book that she's just been working on over the last years, last few years, and it's really coming along nicely. And I, she had mentioned doing a recipe collage book, and I thought this might be good for that. But I have to really think about it because I want to be able to access my recipes, you know, whether it's cookies or a main main dish or appetizers. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll use it for something else. But I love it. Do you like that? I do. There were some jewelry pieces there that I had picked up when I went in. They had a little area, but the ladies took them back because they didn't realize they were there. And one of them was a name pin, which said Lillian. One of them was a name bracelet, which said Lillian, and they wanted to keep those. But I was able to get this little box. It's It needs some, some uh, significant cleaning. It's got some little gems on it. I don't know if they're if they're commemorative of anything. It's like a little wheelbarrow. It's just a tiny little box. It's about an inch and a half square and it's empty inside. There's no lining or anything. I didn't see any marking, but she said this was her grandmother's. Um, I thought it was really pretty and she let me purchase that for a dollar. Sorry, the lighting is so terrible. Well, we went into one room, which was a craft room, and Alicia was sifting through the stuff, and I looked into the closet, and there was a bin of dolls. Well, I started digging through them. Most of them were more contemporary dolls that I was not really interested in, and at the bottom of the pile 
laying in the bottom of the box in the closet was this little sweetie pie. This beautiful girl. And I knew right away she was an antique. I really, I don't know a lot about dolls, but I knew a little bit. Look at her teeth. She has a bisque head and she has beautiful brown eyes that they are a little bit worn, maybe a little scratched. And she has just lovely coloring. I think she's just gorgeous. She was in rough shape. She is in rough, rough shape. Um, she wasn't holding the birdie. I gave that to her. She wanted to play with that while she was out here. She had this very torn, ill-fitting little chemise on and she had one sock and one shoe and I can't for the life of me remember what I did with her shoe. <laughs> so I had some other things for her, but she has a beautiful composition ball jointed body. So she moves at the hips and at the knees and her arms move and her hands move and there's little little balls between the joints. She may need some restringing, which I can do. She definitely needs a wig. I'm going to show you the back of her head so you can see her marking. So the back of her head is marked 250 with a 4 next to it which would, the four would probably indicate her 24 inches, which she is, she's a big girl, she's 24 inches tall. And the 250 would be the mold mark, and she is marked Germany. This 395 underneath her was probably a price, which could have been from any time. It's just in pencil, and I can probably take it off, but I left it there. I didn't see any other markings on her, you can see her rough little chemise but her body is not cracked let me turn her around. um because of her marking i was able to do some research and i believe she was made right at the turn of the 20th century so right around 1900 it could have been a little bit before it could have been a little bit afterwards by a maker named ernst hoibach and I'll write the name in here and you can do research about him if you want to. And yeah, so she is a true antique girl and she really is in good condition. I am going to clean her up and she's going to have a little makeover. We're gonna clean her composition. Her body is really in great shape for its age. There is no, I didn't see any major chipping or cracking of the composition, which was actually very common. I have a new dress for her. I have a new wig for her, which is the main thing I wanted for her. Um, and I have some new shoes for her. Now, I will tell you that in trying to buy some clothes for her, it is very difficult. The prices of antique doll clothes are more than the dolls themselves. She is not a terribly valuable doll. There was another doll company, Gebruder Hoibach. I think Gebruder means brothers. I don't think they were any relation to Ernst. Um, their dolls were much earlier and later, and they are more valuable than mine. Love her, and I was so happy to find her. And this was Lillian's doll, so I have named her Lillian. And I think it suits her perfectly, and Lillian can be happy that she has a good home. So stay tuned and see her transformation. Well, I'm gonna leave it there. Here's Lillian with her brother in the back and her sisters in the front. These are all antique dolls, except for the one on the lower right. She was made in the 1940s. I'll see you back for the next estate sale haul.